This sticker is up a thousand percent over the last seven months. Literally a 10x investment. You would be a fool not to sell at these levels. Let me explain. Alright, so the DreamHack 2014 hollows have been getting their fair share of the limelight over the last couple of weeks. Some of them reaching new all-time highs, the capsule doubling in value, and just overall sentiment being very positive for these stickers, leaving many investors wondering whether or not they should be buying into the hype. But before we get into the video guys, SkinSwap is today's sponsor. Sponsor. If you guys use the affiliate link in the video description, you will get a free item worth up to $200, no strings attached. They are a top-of-the-line marketplace where you can buy, sell, and trade your CSGO skins, as well as your Rust skins. The rates over there are pretty compelling, and they're offering you guys a massive 40% bonus when you use the link in the description. And I know many of you guys are interested in finding ways to cash out your CSGO skins. This is the perfect site for you guys because they offer a variety of payout options, which I'm sure many of you guys will appreciate. But now back to the the video guys, I think it's too risky to be buying into these stickers at these levels. Yeah sure they look really good, maybe in CS2 they look even better, they're shiny, they're big, they take up a lot of area, but at what cost? You're paying a huge multiple, a big premium on them, and the supply is super low, low liquidity. You gotta think for a second, you know, if somebody's gonna be buying these capsules or stickers from you, what are they going to use them for? Are they just gonna hoard them and invest, or are they going to be actually crafting with them? And for the most part, the utility or the main value of these stickers is craftability. But I just don't see anybody making a 4x, $4,000, $5,000 craft with some of these stickers. It just doesn't seem likely or plausible in today's economy. I personally think you'd be better off finding some more moderately priced stickers from more recent majors that are borderless, like Antwerp or Stockholm, even Paris right now that's still on sale. Yes, these are great collector's items, yes, they tend to hold their value, but when a sticker or an item runs up this much in a short amount of time, it almost always ends in a crash. So if you're buying at these levels, be prepared for an imminent downfall. And if the sticker prices don't crash, you're just going to be holding on to this sticker for quite some time before you see meaningful returns. Just think about it. In order for it to double, it would have to go to $2,000, $3,000. Meanwhile, you could probably get the same level of return on a Paris capsule in a shorter amount of time. Again, not financial advice, but just something to be weary. You want to be buying the dip and selling the rip. The smart money is right now exiting these positions, while the inexperienced money is flooding right into it.